Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Asta Had Serpent Magic, Part 5, The End of This What If. Now, you're wondering, wait, why? Why are you going to end this What If? Because, why not? I'm going to end it in the same, in the same, like, number day where Part 4, well, yeah, Part 4 was at. Yeah, why not? I'm going to try to end the Asta What Ifs, like some of them. Because I want to start on a Shrin, uh, not Shrina, Shinra, Shinra what if, because I had like, I think I had three thumbnails of Shinra that I wanted to do before actually doing Black Clover, like I was about to watch Fire Force first, then Black Clover, and then One Piece, but I watched Black Clover, then I'm gonna watch, yeah, after Black Clover, because I read, already read all the manga, until the newest, latest chapter of manga comes out, yeah. I also have a very crazy theory that I might just throw into my uh, second channel. Like, I might just uh, make a, what's called a theory, a crazy ass theory that's probably only six minutes long. And I probably am going to start editing it. Well, editing the. I'll edit that video because it's only going to be six minutes long. The reason why I don't edit on my other what ifs, the long ass ones that I do, is because they're long. And I'm too lazy. And I hate editing. Even though I never try editing in the first place. I just know it's going to be a fucking drag. So yeah. So of course. And that's all I want to mention. I only have a crazy theory. It's only a fucking theory. It's crazy. And it's kind of a whack or theory for me to even think about it. Is it a theory? Not me. It's just probably me fucking around. But <laughs> not the point. I will mention it later. If people on the Discord has already seen the theory, because I did kind of explain my theory and what the fuck I was talking about, then yeah, some people already know about it. But not the point. Let me begin into this what if and let me shut the fuck up and let me stop, uh, like, rambling on with this fucking theory that I fucking have. Okay? So, we go on to, well, Asta. Well, to Asta. Before we go into the six month time skip, Asta has already dealt with like the double worshippers. He easily, he didn't kill them. He mostly kind of like threatened them because again, Asta is very happy murderer. He's not like this sad emo murderer. He's a happy killing murderer. But it's cause both of his like sides are kind of fused together. So his serpent and his human side are kind of fused. He's very kind and overprotective in his human side. Same way as Serpent Side is going to be the same, but they're like mixed traits together. So, of course, he kills people with a smile. <laughs> but really, yeah. Uh, what's the car? Of course, Asta, he kind of just threatened them. Of course, took back his Grimoire because they did try to take his Grimoire. Until Asta brings out two giant serpents to threaten them, saying, Give me back my fucking Grimoire or fucking perish. Which they chose perish because Asa murdered them in an instant. So yeah, Asa, when I mentioned he didn't murder them, I mean he did murder them with a smile. And of course no one could stop it because the hell, Asa's already very powerful. Of course, Asa has met this person uh, named Ignis. Her name is just Ignis. Of course, is where, well, she was this girl with rustic eyes. And of course, she was kind of friendly to Asa. She kind of like miss her brother that she talked to Asta about and Asta understand and said that he will help her. So yeah, of course we bleh, of course we go into a six month time skip after well Asta agreeing to help Ignis. So of course we go into well the Heart Kingdom getting attacked by Ver uh, no the Veronica no not Veronica uh Vanika. So yeah, her name is Vanika. Of course, the war Vanika comes to sh uh, see the Heart Queen and says, Aw, Heart Queen, why isn't your curse with you? This is bad. You know, I gave you that present a long time ago. I'm surprised you didn't like it. So yeah, I should mention one thing. Asa did get rid of the curse by using his anti-magic. He actually destroyed it and then it's with the, uh, what's it called? Demon Destroyer. Which, I'm surprised he didn't do that in, like in the beginning of the anime not anime i mean like when he did get this never mind probably didn't just know about it but okay but not the point of course this is where well asta just did that in the beginning of before the time skip of course this is where well asta he kind of like 
well, also somewhere else. Of course, they did stop that whole well structure from coming towards the Heart Kingdom because you see here, Oscar wasn't there. He wasn't there with the others training. He actually went training somewhere else. But yeah, this is where well, we go into a fight between Vanika and well, Junko, Kurumi, uh, Noel, and Mimosa, and Finro. Who Finro isn't there? Finro kind of went towards the well, Black Bull. So yeah. Of course, this is where, well, the Heart Queen is actually also there to fight. Now, of course, this is where, well, the, uh, what's it called? Well, if Honey Cat says, aww, you guys are so beautiful. Too bad that you're all going to get killed. <laughs> this is where, well, I should also mention Magna and Lufkin, what well, Charming was there, but yeah. This is where they all start fighting, and of course, the devil, she is actually, like, trying to use her curse, well, mostly blood magic. To kind of fight against him, Junko actually uses her well emotions magic to actually boost up everyone's emotions. She also figured out that she had a devil that allows her to kind of well, well to kind of get stronger with the ability of despair, with her own well, what's it called her own magic. The emotion magic was hers, but the despair magic was actually from a devil. This is where well she actually's trying to use despair. To kind of fight against the devil that's right now, Malipia or whatever her name is, or whatever, Mal Mal whatever the goddamn devil name that Vanika has. But yeah, of course, the devil shows up to be it actually in what's it called, Vanika's body, almost in the eye, and of course, starts kind of trying to fight against everyone. This is where Karumi actually managed to freeze time and pull out, well, this magical tool. It's mostly called a gun, mostly a musket, and shoot a bullet straight towards well, Vanika. Vanika gets hit in the heart, and this is where she coughs up blood. Mostly it's both Vanika and the devil. This is where the devil gets annoyed. This is where the devil rushes at, well, uh, what's it Karumi. Karumi had to dodge, and of course, this is where uh, Noelle appears trying to swing her, well, water, uh, water, what are they called? Uh, not water spear. Uh, that twisted thing. Oh, fuck. Mm. Whatever it's called, it's mostly I'm going to just call it the twister weapon. This is where, well, or water twister weapon. This is where she's trying to cut out, well, Vanka, and Vanka has to dodge. This is where a water dragon appears, but this is where Vanka makes a blood creature trying to crush the thing. This is where, well, well most of us right now fighting is that lick, lick, like, lick, 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 like, yeah, you think you can stop me? I'm going to lick you. Pause. But yeah, that's what that man is. This is where, well, uh, with Charmy, Magna, and even Luck, they're fighting against the other Ws. But yeah. This is where, well, uh, with the Heart Queen, she's actually using her magic without being clumsy. She's actually trying to give a brave face. Now, of course, the Water Spirit is trying to protect, well, the, well, Heart Queen, mostly Lopechica. So yeah. Of course, the war of Vanika is seeming to actually be able to defeat them all. This is where all of them are actually feeling a little bit of despair. This is where, well, Junko seems to be getting stronger with the despair. This is where she comes out of nowhere and actually decides to punch at Vanika. When she punches at Vanika, she managed to push her away. Very far, but also damage her. This is where the heart almost exploded from that punch. This is where, well, they all realize that Junko has a very powerful ability. Despair might be a thing that she's able to control, thanks to her devil. But she didn't really learn how to go double union mode. She mostly talked to it, but it didn't really want it to kind of go into double mode. Because the devil didn't even know how to go double union either. So, yeah. So, of course, it worked. well, with that happening, um, well, Vanika says, well, I'll leave you going to die so easily. I won't let any of you be stopping me from Vanika. Well, not Vanika, from, uh, well, Lil Pechica. Lil Pechica, you will be mine. And I will give you the same curse that I gave you last time. And this time you won't be able to erase it. This is what, well, she rushes at all of them and was about to speed blitz him until someone appears with a cloak. But this cloak had, like, these red patch, well, kind of, like, red kind of, like, crosses around, or mostly a pattern of, like, crosses. And, of course, this is what, well, when Lopechica was, uh, not Lopechica, when Lopechica and the other were confused, and also Vanika, 
That's the word. This person kicked, well, uh, what's it called? Veronica in the stomach, sending her ass up to the, well, to the roof. This is where she was smashed through the ceiling and was now on top of the roof of the palace. This is where, well, this person blitzes away, still being in the cloak and right now in front of, well, Veronica. Veronica says, who are you? This is where this person says, hmm, you can call me Ignitness, but I don't matter. It doesn't matter who you are or who I am exactly. I'm just someone that's friends with someone. Or you can call him. Mm. Ah, never mind. This is where she takes off her cloak. And this is where, well, it's basically Ignisus, who actually was friends with Asta in the beginning of the six months. This, this aura around her explodes. She is right now, well, very powerful. This reddish aura. Her eyes are, well, what's it called? She then has like this red horns that appear on her head because her head, well, her hair is long and all the way down to her waist. And of course, it's long black hair, but red horns appear. Her eyes are crimson red, and of course, they're kind of glowing with magical power from them, like this mist of red power. This is where, well, she seems to be really angry and rage. This is where, well, she pulls out a long sword, like this large sword that's similar to the Demon Slayer. But of course, this sword is called the Sword of Rage. And of course, it were, well, around where Ignis is right now like a kind of somewhat dress of red, just a red dress, kind of having like armor and spikes around it. Kind of like, well, it was mostly not on her, but it did kind of change her clothes to this kind of clothes. This is where, well, she didn't became way stronger because you see here, a tail became, well, appear behind her. A reddish tail and wings actually appear. This is where her hands did become claws, like dragon claws. Because you see here, she is actually from the dragon descent. Her name is Ignis, the dragon of rage. This is where, well, a spirit right next to her appears. This is where the spirit seems to be similar to her height, not really, just a little bit smaller. But of course, it seems to be like a kid or like a younger sibling cousin whatever he is but he had black hair short black hair kind of like reddish eyes and of course it were well he was dressed up differently from well ignis his name was well uh the dragon of well despair but he died earlier a while ago but of course he left like six uh items that was from his body but humans kind of took because humans kind of killed him this is where she has all six items and is right now in piss and rage. She says, so you decide to hurt my friend. Or, no, not my, yes, my friend. Her face becomes red a little bit. But this is where she just snaps out of it and says, you hurt my friend's friends. I'm going to kill you, you stupid bitch. This is where, well, uh, Vanika says, oh, you think you could stop me? Well, let's see if you, <coughs> she gets smashed to the ground, like kicked. To the ground. Of course, this is where, well, uh, Ignis, who was kind of like still mid air, kind of did a flip and lands perfectly fine. This is where, well, Ignis kind of switches her sword into, instead of being a giant great sword that was really big and had like this red cross and all that, and having like a red like energy around it, it became a longer katana instead. Just a long katana. She then rushes down and starts kind of clashing with Vanika. This is where Veronica is trying to fight against War Ignis, but seeing that Ignis is stronger than her. Ten, no billions of times stronger than her. Because Ignis is just holding a little bit back, but this war Ignis is still pissed. Right now clashing and cutting down well Vanika. Veronica say, no, I can't die. I will have to just uh what's it called? Let my fucking uh underlings self-destruct. <laughs> that would be a good idea. <laughs> nah. Let's see if you can stop me when I destroy this heart kingdom with you people. You won't stop me at all. Ignis says, whoever said I was alone, I have friends and a little sister that I believe she will be able to stop them. And so where, well, this green slime actually like appears right next to, well, uh, Charmy, or not Charmy, mostly uh, Leon. And they almost like confused, He's like, huh? This where the slime transform into an actual girl. And this girl seems to be the same height as Leon. Leon says, huh? 
uh, his face becomes pink a little. Does it work well? His eyes just become blank a little bit also. Does it work well? He does. This girl was kind of really adorable and all that. And this will work well. She says, hello there. My name is, well, uh, Emily. And I'm here to help you. <laughs> she smiles with this kind of gentle smile. And, well, Leon couldn't resist and had almost a blood nose, but he stopped himself and says, Okay, let's do it then. This will work well. She smiles and says, Good. This will work well. She says, Well, don't worry about your other friends. They're being helped. This is where Luck is right now trying to use lightning to try to stop the explosion, the self-destruction. And this is where a guy with bluish hair and glasses appear, saying, It seems like you need help. This is where, well, the person pulls out a sword out of, well, not thin air, mostly put out of next room. And then right now it glows into blue. And this is where he says, I'll help you. This is where lightning crackles around him. This is where, well, his hair does go into a lightish bluish color. Like a very lightish blue lightning crackling right now. His eyes are right now crackling with lightning. This is where he says, I'll help you. This is where, well, Luck says, ooh, another lightning user. This is interesting. This is where, well, he didn't realize one thing. Luck realized one thing. This person doesn't have a grimoire, but it seems to have crackling lightning around him. This is where Luck realized something. The mana around him is so, like, nature from him. <laughs> like, nature is blushing up to him. Mostly he thought of like the elves being the same, but this person looks like lightning is actual cracking out of him. Uh, well, not crackling out of him, mostly around him, because it's nature lightning. Something that Luck could actually never do. Until the manga, because you know, yeah. But of course, the word, well, Luck says, you got it. <laughs> then let's do it. Let's stop this bastard once and for all. The person says, agree. That's the word, well. We go into Charmy. Charmy is trying to like uh, stop this beast or whatever, just like pitch and all that from exploding. This is where someone says, it seems that you need help. This is where, well, when Charmy looks down, she sees a wolf. What? This is where the wolf transforms into an actual like person and says, oh, hello. Huh. I'll help you. This is where, well, the wolf smiles with a like, uh, grin, that sharp teeth. And that's where, well, uh, Charmy says, huh? Wait, what? Don't worry about it. I'll help you. That's where, well, the wolf does become more ferocious. Instead of having, like, brown uh, coat around him, he does kind of become, like, blacker. Well, not blacker. Mostly, it becomes black. And, of course, his skin is still the same, kind of being a brownish color. But, of course, his eyes becomes a reddish color. This is where, well, he says, Hunger of the uh, Deep Endless Wolf Alpha. This is where that's what his magic is called. This is where, well, he starts kind of eating the lady. Kind of eating her. This is where Charm is doing the same. This is where we go into Luck and the other guy. This guy is right now just cutting down the, well, person really fast before he can even have time to regenerate with his devil. And Luck is right now using his lightning. We're kind of just, like, going to do the same thing. Lightning boost and all that. And of course, the person's right now cutting through this person really fast. This is where we go into Leon and, what, Emily? This is where, well, or not Emily, Emma. Oh, see, yeah, her name is Emma or something. And this is where, well. So, Emma kind of appears. Right now, this is where Emma says, all out pinch. This is where it's a magic ability that she kind of pulls out. This is where her hair becomes a brightish green color. Like a really bright green color. It was like kind of a dull green color, but then it becomes a really bright green color. This is where a little flower appears on her head, because there was already a flower. But it kind of blossomed to being a beautiful, like, rainbowish flower. And this is where her eyes glow into being really greenish color. This is where, when Leon was seeing this, he was having his heart beat, beat, beat. He was like, oh, am I this love or something? No, 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 no. I must do this for the, uh, for the pride of myself. This is where, well, uh, Leon does actually explode into fire magic really fast and says, I won't give up. I will surpass my brothers and sisters. Well, multi brother and sister. This is where, well, uh, Emma says, okay, let's do this. This is where, well, they blitz the demon. And, of course, the demon cut him react fast enough. And, of course, he's getting just kicked around like a soccer ball. And, yeah, this is where we go into, well, the last one. Where Mimosa's kind of like dealing with this kind of like devil and all that. She's like, damn it. 
I'm out of mana. I can't do this. This is where someone appears. This is someone had kind of pinkish hair and seems to be a human. And this is where, well, she had dullish blue eyes. Or not dullish blue eyes. Very bright blue eyes. And this is where she says, I'm here to help you. Even though I'm not really part of the other monsters, but I'm here to help you. This is where, well, I must say, who are you? Uh, my name? I'll tell you. This is where, well, this girl kind of says, well, I wouldn't really like to tell you my name. But I can tell you that I'm a warrior priestess, and I can help you. This is where, well, crosses appear all around her. And this is where she says, for the god of love, protection of swords, boost us up, and help us destroy. This is where a sword, like a cross appears. And this is where the cross of light blesses both of them with kind of this light particle boost and all that. And this is where, well, when it gets stronger, this is where, well, the princess seems to, or priestess or prince or whatever, gets stronger also. And this is where, well, she says, are you okay? Are you good to move? My muscle says, yeah, let's do this. That's where all of them are actually fighting against well, the devils now. Of course, this is where my muscle sent, well, started creating a sunflower that was so powerful that it should be able to eliminate this thing. That's where Luck made also a very powerful lightning attack that had, instead of the normal five rings of circle, he actually made it having it actually like 12. 12 rings of the circle of the lightning and all that. He was about to just blitz himself to destroy this thing. While the other dude is right now cutting it. This is what, well, Charmy and, well, the other dude, they both are full. And, of course, they finish their target. And, of course, they explode in their stomach. But, of course, just steam rolls out of their mouth. Uh, this is what, well, what's it called? We go into, well, the other two, mostly Leon and Emma. Emma is right now destroying the devil pretty fast. And using her nature ability to right now use vines and flowers to be able to grab this, uh, well, demon. While Leon charges up with a very powerful fire blast. It's called, the fire blast that Leon's charging up is called Crimson Red Flame of the Lion Roar. This is where he sends it straight towards the devil. Blowing, well, mostly blasting and destroying this devil while Leon passing out. This is where Emma managed to catch him. Well, mostly catch him. And kind of like... Put the flower in his mouth just for him to eat it and try to swallow it. Yeah. This is where, well, he feels kind of tired, but he feels okay now. This is where, well, uh, Emma says, huh, good to know that you're okay. This is where, well, um, we go into, well, uh, look who is right now charging, already just blasting off the, well, rings of circle of like the wording and all that. And right now, just becoming a lightning itself so fast. That it became white lightning for a little bit and just strike this devil and obliterate him when luck uh, passed through him. Of course, this is where luck passes out after using up so much mana. This is where the person did kind of just catch him before he fell down off the well, building because, yes, luck was like edge of the building. But yeah, that's the word. Well, the devil's destroyed. This is where we go into, well, uh, Mimosa and, well, the princess kind of warrior and all that. This is where, well, the princess warrior kind of, like, bless enough power, or boost mostly enough power into Mimosa that she kind of made this kind of, like, uh, flower, well, mostly nature queen. She becomes this, like, nature queen armor that she kind of grabbed. And this is where she makes a flower, well, sunflower, that is so big and has so much power that she launches the attack of blittering this person when shot. But after it kept bouncing around, but yeah. This is where, well. Next, what's, what's it called? Ignis. Ignis managed to kill Vanika, and Vanika goes, No, you can't do this to me! No! She died. This is where, well. And they say, well, gotta go talk to the others to see if they're all okay. We got into a time skip of a battle between Dante and, well, Yami. Of course, where everyone else was kind of there in the original canon, of course, like, helping each other, yeah. Like, Grey and, what's it called? Well, Grey and, um, Gush. Now, of course, Grey did try to become a little bit braver, like this one, original canon. And, of course, managed to heal, like, Gush. But, yeah. This is where, well... When Yami is actually getting defeated by, well, uh, what's it called? Well, Dante, Dante says, ha, huh, now you'll be coming with me, you dark, 
What a dark match accuser. Yami, he gets hit in the face and right now launches towards, well, multiple like trees. He just gets smashed into multiple trees. Also, if you heard that thing, I accidentally pushed something. It was about to fall, but yeah. Luckily, I managed to grab it. But of course, when uh, that happened, Asta appears right now in front of Wayami. This is where, well, Dante smashes into the wall and says, Ooh, who are you? He's right now in rage. This is where, well, around Asta is this whitish glow. And this is where a crown is right now on top of Asta. Asta's eyes are right now slick turquoise. And of course, it worked well. That red uh, little like star cross that was on Asta's forehead decides to kind of look like it grew bigger and all that. There's actually three stars in total that are right now in Asta's forehead. This is where, well, red line actually appear from all like three of them kind of going to next to each other or going up a little bit, yeah. But this is where, well, uh, they're mostly in like the vertical shape, so yeah, those three stars were vertical, but yeah. This will work well. Asta looks at, well, not vertical, mostly vertical and horizontal. So there was three stars vertical and three stars, well, horizontal, yeah, together to kind of make it look like a cross mostly, but yeah. This will work well. Asta say, well, what the hell are you anyway? This is where Dante says, don't know who you are, but I'm going to kill you. He rushes at Asta, but Asta blitz him and right now hits him in the face. Like kicking him in the chin, then kicking him in the stomach, then pulling out his Kuzanaki blade, stabbing him in the like arm, and ripping it off by cutting it cleanly. Now this time he add anti-magic to kind of cover up that wound. This is where when Dante tries to kind of regen his arm, he couldn't because the anti-magic was destroying it in an instant. This is where Dante says, who are you? No, you're dangerous. This is where he says, Gravity Magic, Domain of the King. This is where, well, or Fallen King, or whatever the hell it's called. This is where he tries to crush Asta. Asta is walking through it. And this is where Asta says, hey, big fella. This is where Asta is slapping, like, kind of hitting him in the face for a little bit, like in the cheek. Saying, well, you really do look pretty big. Well, that's too fucking bad. Asta slaps this bitch so hard. That this motherfucker went slamming into the like ground in high speeds, eating dirt. Really, like literally just eating dirt right now. That's why he spits it out and rush and just rage rushes at Asta trying to fight him. That's why he tries to just use his magic to kind of lift up rocks and make them into spikes and send them towards Asta. Asta cuts it down so easily, and that's where Asta appears right in front of what uh, Dante, saying, <laughs> "That's pretty cool, man." But do you know, you're still weaker than anyone. This is what, well, Asta says anti-magic style. Double Union. Asta appears right in Double Union, right in front of, well, Dante. That Asta says 10 billion slashes. This is where Asta, he appears behind Dante and put in his sword back. And this is where Dante says, what the... <laughs> he explode. And right now his body... Cannot regen thanks to the so much anti magic and serpent magic destroying his body. So yeah. Asta says, So what happened, Yami? Yami says, Don't know. But it seems that you became stronger. So what happened to you? Hmm. A lot of things. But we should probably be going now. That's what before it was caused and it can actually appear. He felt like he had to get to, well, the Clover Kingdom and try to get Yami. But also cuts it down and pushes, well, well, Zenin into the portal, but also jump in it. This is where, well, Yami says, Asta, no! This is where Asta appears right in front of Zenin and the other double user, mostly what's called that scientist dude. And this is where they say, huh? Why are you here? Asta says, don't worry about it. Well, at least my training has paid off. I should probably show you the true power of the Serpent King, shouldn't I? This is where, well, they say, what do you, this is where Asta says, oh, it looks like you got Williams. This is where Asta somehow now, Serpent, Serpent, like, eats Williams and disappears. This is where Zenith says, no, you absolute bastard. This is where other, uh, well, other of the, what's it called? I wanted to see Serpent Hands, but mostly that's from uh, SCP. No, no, not that. Uh, the Dark uh, Disciples actually appear. This is where they say, what happened? Who is this guy? 
This is where well, the scientists say to kill him. He's nothing to be worrying about. As to say, yes, I'm nothing to be worrying about. Hmm. I'm gonna kill all of you, you fuckers. This is where, well, Asta right now activates his, well, true form of the serpent. This is where, well, Asta's scales become all white. This is where, well, his eyes become more slick, but also energy started appearing from it, like just kind of appearing from his eyes, this whitish glow. This is where, well, Asta also has this whitish armor around him. And this is where, well, like a helmet appears, but this is where, not a helmet appears in his head, mostly a crown. Like bigger than his normal, like smaller crown that was small, but this time bigger. This is where his hair became longer, and this is where, well, the crown is floating on top of him, as you mentioned, not like on it, it's floating. This is where, well, us his hair became longer, and this is where, well, us kind of gets out of this form by walking slowly, but this is where us seems to became something that they never thought that it was going to exist. This is where the devils underneath the what's it called spade kingdom like like felt this magic and this is where all of them widen their eyes this is called the serpent king of the whole universe multi-universe being appearing this is where well also is walking towards him and saying hey guys what are y'all following don't we all want to be friends this is where well they all felt this energy this mana right now pushing down on them Right now, mana around Asa is not just, just like blessed with mana. All the mana around him is right now just groveling at Asa's feet. Right now, it's just because Asa is this being way powerful than anyone they could ever be. This is where Asa says, "Huh, going to have to kill you all." Asa pulls out two blades out of nowhere. This is where he says, "Kuzanaki, Snake Heaven uh, Slayer Cutter." Well, mostly he says, "Heaven Snake Slayer." This is where, well, he pulls out a katana, and the other one being the kizunaki blade. This is where he smiles, and of course the both blades does become black a little bit. This is where, well, not just that, but a horn appears on, well, his head. Two horns appearing. This is where, well, he's going into double union in this form. So this is where, well, a tail behind him appears, a wings appear. This is where they're black. This is where armor actually changes from the white arm, well, the white kind of, like, well, what's called drip that he's wearing. It wasn't actually armor, it was just drip. Become black armor around him. He's still showing out his, what, well, drip, but still. He's right now in double union. Plus, well, the uh, Serpent King mode. But yeah, the true, the true Serpent King mode. That's what it's called. The king of all, uh, well, multi-universe. But yeah. Mm. Asa smiles, and of course his two swords have become a little bit black from like the edge, from the sharp edge, but yeah. That's where Asa says, let's see if all of you can survive. We go into, well, about five minutes later in that room, and of course the whole place is just killed. Well, mostly all the double users are right now destroyed in an instant. Asta jumps into, well, because he has no magic, but of course magic at the same time. He kind of just walked through the kind of portal of the devils. This is where, well, he decided to hack, slash, and kill all devils in that devil world. Managing to get rid of all of them. Just destroying every single one of them. Destroying even Lucifer. Uh, what's called, uh, busy, whatever his goddamn name is. But he just destroys all of them. This is where, well, also gets out of that place. And of course, this is where, well, he leaves some devils that were just there. And not causing that much trouble. He mostly just killed all the supreme doubles and higher up doubles, but yeah. Because he knows that even the lower doubles kind of needs kind of some mercy. Whatever. But leaving dead kind of says, let's kill them all. And of course, Asta, he decides to kill them all. But some of them did, didn't really do much to Libby. So of course, some of them were left alone. But yeah. But of course, they were not allowed to get out of that world. So yeah. That's where well, Levi and Asa are now satisfied as they're killing all those devils. This is where, well, they get out of the Spade Kingdom, and of course, they're walking, but still in this form. Well, out of the Devil Union form, but still just in this form, exactly. Now, Levi is on, well, Asa's shoulder, and this is where, well, they're walking around the Spade Kingdom, destroying some of the Devil Disciples or whatever, 
just destroying them instantly easily. Well, even using anti magic, also just cutting them down, just killing anyone that follows the devil's worshiping and all that. This one white one also meets up with someone named Noct. Noct says, Ah, you must be from, well, the Black Boys. I have heard of you, Asta. This one also says, Oh, you must be the, uh, what's it called, first uh, vice captain. Hello there. Uh, I don't really care what you need or something, but I'm gonna just keep walking around killing these people. This one where, well, Noct says, Nonsense. The revolution's right now, well, resistance are right now destroying the leftover def uh, double disciples. Well, mostly the lower rings. But thank you for helping us. How's this things? Mm, I guess you're welcome. Whatever. I should probably get back to the Clover Kingdom. But see ya. Asta right now transform his body into this white light and dissipates. Just like gone. Not white in his eyes and didn't feel Asta's magic no more. It was a very heavy pressure with magic that was also kind of suppressing it from not kind of crushing other people around him. It was right now in a one feet radius from him, but yeah. He couldn't really put it all inside him. It kinda, it was kinda one feet. He can actually make it bigger or anything. It's kind of like uh, limitless, think about it like that, but yeah. But this one, Asta dissipates out of his form, still having the crown on his head, but right now the magic around him is kind of, well, not there. This is where Asta, he gets to the Heart Kingdom and sees everyone still being fine. Asta decides to start healing everyone that's there and even get towards, well, the Clover Kingdom and kind of bring back Williams. Now, of course, the captains were having this kind of uh, table agreement about that. They gotta go save Asta and Williams, but this is where Asta appears saying, yo. Also, Asta appears with a serpent right now, like spitting out Williams. Williams says, what just happened? Asta says, oh, don't worry about it. It was nothing to worry about it. This is where Williams was kind of worried, but he didn't care that much. This is where, oh, what's it called? <sighs> Wait, what else am I kind of, oh yeah. This is where, well, Asta just kind of like was doing something else. Like, well, after the whole thing and of course the talk and all that, this is where everyone had to now live in peace with there was no like other devils that were gonna come out because Asta destroyed all the supreme devils, even Asterisk and even Lucifer, who was actually in Julia's body. But yeah, this is what well, he kind of just destroys all of it. He kind of just got rid of everything, and now peace in this world can happen. This is what well, Julius managed to kind of put the peace of like commoners and also the well commoner peasants and even what's it called Nova system away. And having everyone having equal rights. So of course some commoners were born with more mana than well nobles, but of course this word or no not much discrimination. And of course the Clover Kingdom is now alliance with the Heart Kingdom, the Spade Kingdom, and the Diamond Kingdom. This is where well, you know is actually now the Spade Kingdom well yeah, king and all that. He does have one kid with someone, but yeah. One, yeah, one kid with someone, and of course, that kid is very powerful in his one, well, not one magic, in a different element magic, element magic, mostly. In a different element magic, but of course, also having what's called the similar spatial time magic, or not spatial time, mostly space star magic, whatever, that you know had in Rachel Cannon. He's also had that. Of course, this is where Asta has actually more kids than normal, because you see here, Asta wanted to rebuild back the serpent family and of course he did kind of have a kid with well noel mimosa uh what's it called um karumi junko and even ignis of course it worked well ignis was kind of happy to have actually a child mixed with dragon serpent and human she didn't really mind it but yeah of course is where all those children are always kind of bothering austin to become stronger and really become stronger but yeah Nosh actually just became older, and yeah. He actually became a magic knight in the, well, like Crimson Lions. Of course, the word Leon does also kind of have a kid with someone named Enma. He kind of, he was too nervous, but yeah, he managed to have one. But yeah. So, of course, everyone is living happily with their lives. Everyone kind of, you know, still just, eh, it was his emotions, but yeah. He can barely show it to his child, and his child is always kind of disappointed, but yeah. This is where, well, 
Asa is always laughing at you know about his emotions and always teasing him about it and saying, you really suck with your emotions and blah, blah, blah. But yeah. But this is the end of this what if. Yes. Like I said, I was going to end this what if. And yeah. But have a nice potato day. Potato, sleep. potato, potato, potato. And potato. Bye bye. Potato. Good night.